opened in June of 2008. We decided we wanted to be in the Arts District. Both of us have always been into the mid-century happenings anyway, but uh, when we choose something as being worthy um, and bring it into the store, where its original setting, nobody could see it, once it's brought in here, they can see it and go, wow. Um, this uh, is a Salvador Dali. Yeah, that was hanging in our guest bedroom forever. I hated it. Uh, and I never saw it. I, I, all I saw was a fish laying there on the platter. And we brought it in here and hung it, and all of a sudden, I realized it's a naked lady. <laughs> you, you don't... <laughs> okay, the pink kitchen. This is probably the most iconic piece that we have in the store. Um, we, it's the very first thing we bought for the store. Uh, came from a house on Rancho Circle, and it kind of set the tone for everything else we were doing. We're selling as a complete set, and it's $5,000. It's actually a marketing piece for us, too. Um, I mean, people will come in all the time and bring relatives or friends and say, oh, you got to see their pink kitchen. Every day, people walk around, oh, I remember my grandmother had this, and it's never yeah. grandfather. <laughs> it's always the grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma probably wore these like back in the day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, usually when I give him a hard time about something that I don't think is too good, um, it's the one item that sells immediately. And he's like, ha ha. The crying lion. Mark just got this recently. And he was so excited about it. He brought it in, he showed it to me, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it definitely is mid-century modern, fits the bill and everything. Um, and it is actually, the lion is uh, felt. So it's a velvet painting, just like the Elvis velvet paintings. But I was like, oh yeah, okay, well, we'll put a price $100 on it. Somebody came in the store the, just the other day from New York, said that they saw one at a store in New York, it's $2,500. It's uh, 120 years old um, from India. It's actually a wood carving with brass strip overlay. And each and every one of these little indentations in the brass is actually a nail going into the wood. We priced this puppy at 20,000. It's the highest priced item in the entire store. And um, we think this is something that'll probably end up in a commercial property. These chandeliers we recently got at least 250 pounds, maybe 300 pounds supposedly somehow related to Liberace, we don't know for sure, but uh, they certainly have a Liberace look about them. <laughs> look around here. We've got a lot of cool stuff that represents Las Vegas history. History's everywhere, it's like the weather. It's just some of it's longer in other places and shorter in others.